And I'm just exploring right now and I'm just finding things casually. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. This is Felix. And Plume says, I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? Felix says, this moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend, Hollow's Lantern, for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel at, as it likes. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Crap. Hypotheses, there can exist too, too much lava. Yeah, that is correct. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypotheses. I don't actually know what the null hypotheses is. It's a scientific term. And I don't... I'm not a scientist. I, I don't understand what that means. Well, either way. Um, that means basically testing the opposite of that, I think. Either way. Then I imagine th there'd be none of us left if there are two volcanic moons. I compliment your eyes, says Thatch. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis, could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show its face. Now, we've seen this moon do its thing. We've crashed against this moon and we didn't do much with it. But we know what the moon is. Also, that's an Omai. That's an Omai, right there. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, that's the beat. That's the. That's what we're talking about the white hole and the black hole. <laughs> that's real cool. That's real cool. Oh, that's cool. There you go. Escape pod one. Many things. Oh my god. This planet has so many things for us. And I keep rambling about things, so... Let's recap. The old settlement here. The Nomai constructed a temporary settlement beneath their crashed escape pod. The Nomai worked together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. The Nomai decided to call it the, quote, Eye of the Universe, unquote. The Nomai abandoned the settlement over growing concerns about its stability. So that's that little city that we saw. Well, it wasn't really a city. It was just like a house, but still, or a group of houses. Uh, and then we have access to the hanging city that we need to go back to, obviously. An Oma... In fact, that I haven't been to. Well, maybe I have a little. I don't know. We saw hanging buildings. An Omai city suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's northern glacier. The city is divided vertically into four districts. Yep, we need to go back there. And then we have the escape pod 1, one of three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged, apparently. They look really cool as well. And then we have murals over here that we saw. A mural of a Nomai vessel encountering a signal. A mural of, a da of Dark Bramble ensnaring the Nomai vessel. Wait, Dark Bramble? Does that mean the Nomai Vessel is inside that place? Huh. And a mural of three escape pods evacuating the Nomai Vessel. Yeah, I would... Um... I wouldn't trust that? <laughs> That's weird. So that would be the third one, the one that is over there? Because we found the first one, right? What about the second one? One of the three Nomai escape pods landed somewhere on the hourglass winds, yeah. And one of the three Nomai escape pods never made it out of Dark Bramble. Yeah, we're gonna need to find that, aren't we? The Nomai warped to the solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the Eye of the Universe, this time without quotes. The Vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. So that's it from here. We should go to the Hanging City. I don't think we're going to be getting these things anytime soon. It'd be lovely to find the... To find the, uh... The vessel, though. What about these? Oh, it's the White Hole Station. Right. Every Nomai Warp Tower is tuned to a specific astral body. 
To use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. The Nomine noticed something strange. Warped objects appeared to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed the Whitehold station. This negative time interval between an object arriving and departing was incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundredth of a second. No, actually, excuse me. That wouldn't even be that minuscule. It's one hundredth thousandth of a second. It's one to the minus... No, 0 0.1 to the minus 10. How do you say that? It's not minus 10, it's minus 6, but either way, I think, or minus 5. The Nomai were skeptical if their equipment could even measure time to such a small degree. That sound, that's... Mm -hmm. And then we have the high energy lab. The negative time interval measured at the White Hole Station was further investigated at the high energy lab in the canyon at Ember Twins Equator. Yeah, I need to go there eventually. And this is the northern glacier. The northern pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There is an uniquely shaped Nomai ruin in, on, on the surface. The Nomai were able to warp there from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. The Nomai on Brittle Hollow observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. Yeah, we read that. That was pretty cool. But that is it. And the rest of the stuff, we're not going to mess with it. For the moment, let's get going. Brittle Hollow, here I go. There's the Phantom Moon right there. Where's where's Brittle Hollow? Dang it. There it is. Ooh! There's the moon again. Oh no, I shouldn't do what I'm doing here. I want to go over there. So is that the little... I'm gonna crash a little. Don't mind. Don't mind it. So that's the little, um... Village. Yeah, and we can see from here... The bad. It real bad. It real bad. Okay, so let's go around the equator. If I can figure out how I'm turned around, which... I might not be. Crashed a little. Don't worry. Okay, we're gonna go around the equator, but I am I am largely confused about all the things. Because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. There are things... Oh, freaking hell. This falls right away? This might be good... It, oh. Yeah, don't go into there. Interesting. This might be a way of getting in there. Into the... Into whatever... Oh, freaking hell. Look at what is this? What this is? It's got like a thing? I know what those things are. Because we use those to explore with our... Did I break anything else? A little. Uh, unidentified signal. Okay, don't worry about that. I'll worry about the signal in a, in a little. Is it the electronics again? No, it's just the hole. No, this is not the signal. Oh, freaking all the moon. The moon. Okay. Quantum fluctuations. Uh. Hi. My ship is fluctuating a little bit. Oh. There's two of them. Signal identified. Tower shard. Uh. I'm stuck on something. Hmm. It moves. Like the thing... Like the thing we saw. That's a bad place to have the ship in, then. Well, I guess it's stabilized. Oh, I can go up there. Um... Oh, yes I can. It moves like the thing we saw in uh, uh, the Quantum Grove. That's right, 
Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Of note, writes Felix, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend the Wandering Moon sounds the same. Felix said, yeah, we saw that on the quantum moon. Oh, I mean, it makes sense. It's the quantum moon. Felix also writes, I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant Steep. Timber Hearth. Well, yeah, we saw. Did we hear it from Giant Steep? I don't remember. Timber Hearth, though, we did. And the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Yeah, we saw a bunch of them, like in the in the signal scope. Thatch writes, the only other object we have observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. And Plume writes, in her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Bradle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Plume writes, hypotheses this, quote, quantum shard, unquote is from the, sm the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. I take that, if you don't mind. Ship log updated. So, let's see. If I look up... Oh. <laughs> it disappears from under me, but not immediately. Yeah. There's other things in here. This is what I came here for, and we... Stop breaking my ship! I think it's gonna break my ship. What is this? The trees are moving. Oh, the trees do that as well. Oh, boy. The trees and this grove wander about freely. The entire plant, roots, and all! Exclamation mark. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see them move. Is that even possible? Plume writes, if anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Thatch writes, Plume is right, the trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in this same eerie way. Felix writes, that rock is unusually, or unusual for another reason too, Thatch. Uh, it possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, this rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Yeah, it could be. And then the game tells us to launch the scout immediately. And surface integrity, 100%, but it didn't really... I'm gonna leave it there. Because we can't access that ship, it's just not long for this world. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. Bells is apparently the author of this thing. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Thank you. I do enjoy when, when knowledge helps me on my journey, whether it be held within or without. These things passing over the sun, I think it's... A things are falling. Let's, let's be quick about this, because this planet is not long for this world. That doesn't make sense. In, in words but now we know where the ship is or not the ship but the little thing is this the tower that we saw you know uh, quantum integrity 79 uh, sorry not quantum integrity integrity surface integrity entrance to the tower of quantum knowledge below 90 percent or 90 meters i am very good oh yeah look at that got like a thing. Where's this? Do I want to see where, where this leads? Maybe. I don't know where it leads. I don't like that it leads elsewhere. 
I like it when uh, when things are easy for me to explore and uh, and find. That's that's really my favorite. It's just me looking at things and being like, oh look, I figured this puzzle out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is a pretty long. 90 meters. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. Nothing abhorrent. Oh, yeah, it's one of these passages. Oh, it's broken. Don't like that. Is this a good shortcut here to the crossroads? Surface integrity seems stable, but 79% is not great, but what do we have over here? It's bells again. Be welcomed in this place, exclamation mark. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Oh, but it's broken. Oh no. What? Hmm. Hmm. 60% integrity. Remember how I was saying that I want to solve the puzzle easily? Yeah, I thought that maybe like dropping off halfway through here might be the key. This stuff is just breaking apart. Oh, maybe that that is the key. Because if this thing falls... Oh, yeah, that makes total sense. Oh. Hmm. That makes total sense. If this thing falls, then um, we just access it through space, and we don't need the gravitational little thingamajigs. And it looks like the surface integrity inside the tower is really rubbish. So... Let's do that. I also want to refill the oxygen properly. Thank you. Just wanted to make sure everything was fine there. There is another spiral on the other side, though. But, yeah. Let's wait for this thing to break. Yeah, this is not breaking, is it? That's not how you get in there. I need to figure a way out. Or rather, a way in. Wait, what the hell? Did you see that? What the heck was that? What is that? That thing. These are the planets. Three minutes of oxygen. Yeah, don't worry about it. Wait, why'd you... Yeah. These are the planets. And... Oh, surface integrity 20%. That's pretty good. And it does something. Oh, but the sun is bad. That's the twin ember, or the twin things. That's the one that we're in. No, I don't know that that's Brittle Hollow. Oh, that's Timber Hearth. Or Timber Hearth. The other one right there is Brittle Hollow. Yeah, but that sun is, uh, is bad. Also, I don't remember seeing this. Oh, it moves. Surface integrity, 10%. This is lovely. I don't remember seeing this being swallowed. But then again, it might have been another... Another, um, what's the word? A tower? Either way, we're gonna have very little time to get in there if this is indeed gonna be swallowed, because I think we have like five, five minutes. But what I was meaning to look at is I wanted to look at upstairs, because if there's an outside entrance. But I don't see anything broken over here. Which means there's no entrance from above. 
There's a... There's a little scroll over there. But apart from that, I think we're just meant to enter from below. We're seeing the sun through the planet. I think it broke. Oh yeah. It broke. Oi. So we're above. And now we are below. And that's my ship who got broken. Apparently got taken here as well. You could hear it do meh, meh, meh. And now we're going up. We figured it out. The sun, oh, the ship. Hmm, the ship killed me. I didn't like that. <gasps> now that we're down here, you know, when we're about to get swallowed. No, it doesn't get any better. I did get smacked. But now we have our scout, which is super important. Because we need to... We need to follow it. Do this before the sun blows up. Oh man, it's blowing up already. I think. No. Oh, there's two of them. What? Oh, right. We never saw... There's just no my skeletons here. Right, we never saw the lower level. Let's take that and see what that's all about. What are you doing? Oh, there's oxygen here. What is that symbol? Bells writes, Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you have completed your preparations on Giant Steep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the moon's sixth and most secret location. I'm thinking we, we can probably find a different way into here from Giant Steep. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine your clan built on the quantum moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Be curious on your journey. We need to go to... Can I not drop this? I don't think I can. Oh, freaking hell. Oh, there's another one over here. Bells writes... If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to this star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. 
So they don't mention anything about the Bramble. Do they not know what happened to that escape pod? These Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the Quantum Moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the Quantum Moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the Quantum Moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. Yep, updating all of our ship logs. That's the Quantum Moon. Or is it the Eye of the Universe? No, that's the Eye of the Universe. Is the Quantum Moon anywhere here? I don't think so. It's also technically not a moon. It's a dwarf planet. But, you know, who's counting? <laughs> 